it's Crazy Fangirl Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So, oh my god, guys, you saw my new intro. How cool is it? That was made by my best friend and my manager, Michael, aka Blade. Please go and give him some love. He is amazing. He's one of my bestest friends. He's the greatest guy ever. One of the nicest guys. And yeah, so please go and support him. All of his um, socials are in the description. But please... Go and support him on Twitter, mainly, because if you want an intro or an outro done, um, go follow him on Twitter and send him a DM, because I promise you, his work is amazing. And if you go and check on his YouTube channel, you will see all the work he has done. His portfolio is amazing, and even just the stuff that he does on YouTube is incredible work. So if you want an intro done, go and message him on Twitter, because he will get back to you and he will make you some great stuff. And, you know, during this time, you know, it's a very hard time for everybody, especially creators or, like, artists, etc. And, you know... As one of my bestest friends, I want to shout him out. And he deserves all the love he's getting at the moment, especially with the new video on YouTube. Everybody go check his channel because his new video was amazing. But yeah, if you want an intro and an outro, because if you see at the end, he does my outro as well. Um, so if you want an intro and an outro for your YouTube channel or for a video you're making, l l go reach out to him. But anyway, we're going to be watching the brand new episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 9. Oh my god. Also guys, I didn't realize that it, the episodes have been lessened so much. Apparently there's like four episodes left. What? I can't even believe that because this has gone so, so quick and just unbelievably fast. In a way, I mean, I have an opinion about that, but I think I'll leave it till the end, depending on how this episode goes. Um, I'll leave it till then, but let's just jump straight into this because I'm so excited and I want to see what's going on because, you know, Ahsoka's like working with the Mandalorian, and, you know, we're gonna see more of Darth Maul, and etc., and might see Anakin. Oh, God. Ugh, I cannot wait. Let's just jump straight into this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but to also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, video games, and movies. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Limited production. Hmm, fancy. Why is it red? Ah, two. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's such a smart idea. Oh, the music. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I can't take all the credit. Your state of helplessness really sold it. Surrender talk. Always glad to help, my friend. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting chills. <gasps> What's so important? You brought us all the way back here. <gasps> Look at the development of this scene. They changed it. <laughs> are you? Where are you? Are, are you okay? Oh. Ooh! Wait! Is she here? Oh! <gasps> that is her! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I've got goosebumps! Goosies! Oh, Arthur, bless him! Maul's influence on Mandalore is destroying my people. He murdered their ruler. My sister. I thought she meant something. Oh! Oh! Oh, damn! Boy, I have a surprise for you. Hmm? Oh. I feel like Ahsoka is scared of getting attached again. Like, ugh. It's understandable after everything that happened. Oh, what do those helmets mean? The paint job's a little crude, but we think it gets the idea across. Oh, it's her! Oh, oh! Rex. Oh, that's so nice! Have to call <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good luck. Oh, I feel like he had so much to say, and she does too.
Wait, just before we go on. Hold me, Jesus Lord. Um, oh, the feels. I just, sorry. I just wanted to stop there for a second and just talk. Um, oh, that beginning part where they first met up, though. Like, you can tell this, like, there's so, like, the difference between Anakin and Ahsoka because, especially with the last episode we saw with Ahsoka, you know, she was worried about, you know, seeing the Jedi again. So, you know, we obviously have that insight about how nervous she is. But also with Anakin, you can see he just wants everything to be back to normal, like, the same. Which is totally understandable because he has so much love and respect for Ahsoka, like, as a sister as, and as a friend. So it's just, like... He wants them to be the same as before, but, you know, obviously she's kind of, you can tell, like, she, even though, like, this scene just finished and they had, like, a little bit of what they used to have, there was still a little bit of that barrier of protection she's kept up, um, and even with the way she spoke to Obi-Wan, like, yes, it's still with the utmost of respect, but you can tell she's putting her foot down and being like, no, this is what you're doing, you should be helping other people even though there's probably a lot of other people going to the capital to help on Coruscant. Um, so, you know, she's not afraid to put her foot down, which is good. She's learnt that. Um, because obviously she's not a Jedi anymore. Um, it is sad that, you know, like, she's not part of it anymore. But it's understandable. It's her choice. And, yeah, that that was a great scene to open with. And, oh, my heart. Anyway. Ooh. What's gonna happen? Oh, look at the Mandalorians. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hell yes! Oh, my favorite duo I'm back as well! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, thank God. I love this. Oh, it's so good to see her with a lightsaber again! Oh, yes! Oh, oh my God! Oh, thank God, this episode is so much better than the past one. Oh, the feelies. It's just the whole... Oh, Mandalorian. <laughs> it just reminds me of a certain Din Djarin. Oh. <laughs> the wrong one. Oh, please don't. Please don't kill all the, all, the, all the soldiers. Please, no. Yeah, I'm guessing... Oh, he wanted Obi-Wan. Of course. They're gonna come in from like all sides, aren't they? They're gonna be trapped. Oh no! Oh no! There's so many of them. No. Please just. Oh. Please take them. Just fight them. Uh oh. get good oh lord help me Whew. okay guys oh my god what an episode so good unbelievably good this is what the content that i was looking for when this season came out this is what i want Ha! Huh, this is amazing i'm guessing and i think this is a beautiful thing like I, I knew like especially when they said goodbye again i was like this is probably the very last time that they see each other um i feel like that Anakin and Ahsoka kind of like moment was the very last one so that's like the last time that you know they actually like get like obviously get that like you know that actual face-to-face -face contact I think um I think like the rest of the episodes are definitely leading up to those final like moments of the um and connecting to the movie of um Revenge of the Sith oh I'm so excited um, and scared, terrified, scared and terrified because, you know, like, we know what's going to happen. Um, not necessarily with the whole Ahsoka versus Darth Maul, but, you know, we know everything that happens with Anakin and stuff. So it's, it's getting there. Since this is part one, this means that it's coming to an end with the rest of the series. Ah! Oh my god i do wish again this is the thing i wanted to talk about at the beginning but i thought i'd talk about it now i really thought that we were going to get more episodes especially with you know the lead up to you know those connections to revenge of the sith and stuff like that but obviously we're not which is a, quite sad because you know yes we had f like five great episodes to start off this season five or four i can't remember the whole thing with echo um 
because you know usually with those sort of episodes we know that they all link up together so i hope that there is some linking to that um especially with echo to the final episodes that come out because um yeah from memory echo yeah echo wasn't one of the ones that you know um was a survivor of the you know order 66 so um i'm guessing he also turns you know unfortunately turns to the dark side um but yeah again i'm so excited to see what happens with you know the whole thing with order 66 because they did say they have been saying that it's coming like order 66 is going to happen in clone wars season seven so it's coming it's close and i'm terrified because it's just like What's going to happen? And, um, yeah, I'm really, really worried. Um, but it's also very interesting because we're going to see, like, kind of, like, I guess what happens and how perhaps Ahsoka goes into hiding. Because, obviously, you know, the Rebels series happened and that was such a great series as well. Um, memories. But, you know, um, at the same time, they did talk about, you know, Ahsoka and stuff, like, how she ended up, like, finding all those people and stuff. But I want to find out, like, you know, what her next move is after the whole thing with Darth Maul and after, perhaps, if she does witness Order 66. Um, that's going to be really, really, really interesting. And I'm terrified. I'm scared. I'm emotionally not prepared. Um, it's going to be so good. Um, again, I do wish there were more episodes, but yeah, that's understandable. Um, but... This episode was so good. Absolutely loved it. Again, the um, meeting between Ahsoka and Anakin and Obi-Wan, very well done. Because even, like, as much as I wanted it to be happy, happy, everybody hugs and, like, rainbows and stuff, like, I knew it wasn't going to be like that. And I guess that shows great depth because they could have just made it all happy, everybody getting along and stuff. But that just shows a lot of relatable qualities because I guess um a lot of us can relate to these characters especially with the fact that you know you've left someone behind and you, you meet them after a long time um because it has been a long time since they've seen each other so you know I guess that's really relatable for a lot of people so that's a beautiful quality that they put in and I loved it and I can't wait to see what else happens in the next few episodes um Oh, it's so emotional. I can't even. Oh, it's going to be so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the recent episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 9. Oh, it's so good. And again, cannot wait for next week's episode. Like, this is the thing. This is the, the Clone Wars that I love. Like, the episodes waiting for them every single week, getting excited. Because, you know, with the past, like, five episodes that happened, I was so bored. No offense, with that whole thing, I know what they were trying to do, but it was such a waste of time with the amount of episodes they wasted on it. They literally could have done it like minus two episodes that they had like especially the ones where you know they got put back in prison and stuff they could have just done it once and then done it again because they did that with um what was the episode the episode where obi-wan anakin and um what's his name count dooku get all locked up in like one of the um it's like a pirate's um like dealership thing and then they all get locked up but you know they escaped like three times in that episode and they still finished it off with them leaving the planet you know so i guess they could have done that but i understand why they wanted to make more episodes but it dragged on to way too much and they could have done a better job with that but anyway i'm not going to talk about that now that's going to be in like the final review when i talk about it in the final episode of the coin was oh which is coming but anyway we won't think about that now. Oh my god. <laughs> so again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Van Girl out. Woo!